Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you a little registry hack where you can disable Windows feature upgrades. The reason why I'm doing this is because the last feature upgrade that Windows released, which was 1809, was reportedly deleting a lot of the user's personal data. It was pretty scary. Some guy even reported that he lost 23 years worth of documents and 220 gigabytes worth. Pretty scary stuff, but... Um, when people complained about this problem, Microsoft decided to pull the upgrade away from their server so people can't get affected by this. But for those that did, it was already too late. Microsoft worked tirelessly for the last couple of weeks to get the bug sorted out and now, as of today, the 15th of November 2018, the upgrade has been re-released on their server, so people will start getting this slowly as it rolls out over the countries. I am not entirely convinced with this new upgrade and I'm quite happy still with my version 1803. I mean, if it ain't broke, why fix it? So I'm going to show you a registry hack where you can disable a feature upgrade if you don't want it for your computer. If you don't feel comfortable in doing so, you can probably get somebody else to do it, but it's actually quite easy. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is right click on the start button and then go up to run. Select run and then in the run command you type in regedit. That is R-E-G-E-D-I-T and click OK. The user account control window will appear which you won't see in this recording but select yes and then you will see the registry editor. In the registry editor, go ahead and double click on HK local machine. The tree will expand and then go down to software. Double click on software and then go down to policies and double click on policies. Right under policies you'll see Microsoft, double click on that and then under Microsoft look for Windows and double click on that. Now we need to create a new key or folder within Windows. So what you need to do is you need to right click on Windows and then select new and then select key. We will be naming this new key Windows Update exactly as I write it. So it's a capital D, Windows, no spaces, capital U, Update. And then hit Enter. Make sure that the new key, Windows Update, is highlighted. And then move your cursor over to the right hand side. And right click in an empty area. And select New. And then select D Word 32 bit value. It doesn't matter if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, we need to type in 32-bit value. So select that, and now we will need to create the new value, and we'll need to type in Disable with a capital D, OS Upgrade. That'll be capital O, capital S, capital U, Upgrade. And then hit Enter. Make sure you write it exactly as I've typed it and then you double click on the name and then give it a value data of 1 and then select OK. You will see now Disable OS Upgrade has a data value of 1. So it's a whole bunch of zeros with the 1 and then in the brackets 1. Now we need to modify another key. On the left hand side I'm just going to click on these little arrows to bring it back to normal again and collapse all these trees just to make it a little bit easier to understand and move on to the next key. Once again we double click on HK local machine, go down to software and double click on that go down to Microsoft and double click on that. 
scroll down to Windows there's Windows double click on that under Windows we double click on current version scroll down to Windows update and double click on that now we need to create another sub key or folder within Windows Update so we need to right click on Windows Update select new key and we need to call this OS upgrade spell it exactly as I type it capital O capital S capital U upgrade and hit enter make sure that it's highlighted with blue and then move on to the right hand side and right click in an empty area and select new D word 32 bit value again and we need to type in allow OS upgrade exactly as I type it so it's a capital A allow capital O capital S capital U upgrade and then hit enter and that's it you don't need to touch the the numbers that needs to stay on zero and that's pretty much it so once you've done all this you're welcome to close the registry editor and simply go and restart your computer once again thanks for watching till next time